in the social media justice system. Ignorance-based offenses are considered especially ludicrous. On the enter of the net, the dedicated she-tectives who investigate these absurdities are members of an elite squad known as the Caught Being Ignorant Unit. These are their stories. Consequence. Hey, Repercussion Girl. Girl, have you seen this story about the Christmas tree? A Christmas tree? What did they do? Steal presents? <laughs> I wish it were that simple. Girl, take a look at this. Do you think Empress will take the case? Child, this is a case if I've ever seen it. Detectives. Consequence. Repercussion. What are you two gawking at? So I was showing repercussions a case that you might be interested in. Oh, really? Lay it on me, detective. We're calling it Grotska and the Tree. And I don't think you're going to like it. More video footage. No, but there is an article. Brace yourself, Empress. This is going to get ignorant. According to USA Today, a woman in Ireland lost more than $800,000 in an injury lawsuit stemming from a car crash after photos showed her launching a Christmas tree during a post-holiday competition and winning the event. Camila Grapska, 36, sued an insurance agency in the country after a 2017 car crash she claimed caused her debilitating neck and back pain that prevented her from holding down a job for five years. The car accident was the result of someone hitting Grapska's car from the rear and allegedly left her unable to carry her young children or complete household chores. She quit her job shortly after, received disability payments, and argued that her previous and future lost income totaled more than $500,000, according to the Telegraph. Newspaper reports, however, soon surfaced of Grapska competing in a Christmas tree throwing event on January 8, 2018, nearly a year after the accident supposedly left her with disabling pain. The Irish High Court reviewed the photo of Grapska launching a tree, which the judge, Carmel Stewart, described as a very graphic picture, according to Telegraph. The competition involves people throwing roughly five-foot spruce trees as far as they are able. The judges reported as saying, it is a very large natural Christmas tree, and it is being thrown by her in a very agile movement. I'm afraid I cannot but conclude the claims were entirely exaggerated. On that basis, I propose to dismiss the claim, according to the Irish Independent. Grabska denied that she faked her injuries while in court, saying she was trying to live a normal life. <sighs> if I only had a brain. So, Empress, are we going to take the case? Absolutely, my dear Watson. Consequence, repercussion. Call the girls together. It's time for a debriefing. Make sure they have chairs and tell them to scoot up for a second and let's chat. Roger that, Empress. Repercussion. Let's go. Detectives, thank you for joining me in the debriefing room. We have another ignorant case presented to us by social media, and it is absolutely ludicrous. This case has been labeled Grabska and the Tree, and how fitting her name. Apparently, she grabbed an approximately five-foot Christmas tree during a competition and was caught on camera launching it, all while having an open disability case for over $800,000 due to an accident that she stated left her debilitated and unable to work for five years or able to lift her children. Yet, she allows herself to be caught on camera tossing a five foot tree and her response to it is, I'm trying to live a normal life. She can't be this dumb. She just can't be. Did she not realize that when you have an insurance claim, especially for such a large amount of money that she's asking for, they are watching you dumb dumb diddy. These people are watching when you least expect it. And of all the things that you can do to quote unquote live a normal life, you choose not lifting your children, which would be more believable scarecrow, but you choose to go to a competition and toss trees. Trees, girl, if I only had a brain. You can't make this stuff up. Y'all know the song. And if you don't know what song I'm talking about, just hold on for a second. I'll play it for you. For that lean, mean, mean green, almighty dollar, 
money. You know the Bible told us that the love of money is the root of all evil, and it is. That's why you shouldn't trust anybody who cares more about getting to the bag than anything else, because they're willing to do anything or anyone to get it. The even bigger problem is she would have gotten away with it if it weren't for that pesky little tree. She would have. But that's the problem with being a scammer, right? You start feeling untouchable. In her mind, I'm sure she thought she was set. $800,000, 200 short of a meal. She thought it was smooth sailing, but the problem was the case was not yet concluded. She did this a year after her accident. To toss a whole tree after telling the court you couldn't carry your children, finish basic chores, or lift a heavy bag at times. She needed her medication to be brought to her in bed due to the pain. You got in a competition and tossed a tree, and now your claim is rejected. This is what happens when you're greedy. You don't think. You don't think about the long run. You rob someone. You don't think about retaliation. You rob a bank. You don't think about prison. You rob a store. You don't think about the cameras. All you care about. And we wonder why the world is so evil. Because they don't care about your life. They want the money. They don't care about your children. They don't care about the loved ones you'll leave behind. They'll leave behind. They just care about the money. I had two pit bulls, right? Big boys. I mean, big boys. <laughs> And they would go at it, and I would have to break them up. People would always ask me or tell me, oh my God, you're not scared of getting bit. And I would tell them when pit bulls are locked on their target, they don't care about you. They care about their target. And I'm never fool enough to get in between them to break them up. That's a death sentence. I grab them by their collars and lift their collars and pull them apart, courtesy of Caesar Milan. When a person is locked on money, getting in their way can be absolutely deadly. It can have deadly consequences, but it's because the world has an insatiable lust for money. We saw it during the pandemic. People rushed to get PPP loans. No one thought about, how am I going to explain claiming I have a business that makes over 600000 a year and I'm on government assistance? No one thought that unemployment would eventually find out because it's all government money. No one thought about the consequences and repercussions until them itches with a bee came knocking at their door. Just like this, Scarecrow. No brain. Now you have a big ass, but a bigger record for the love of money. Shit tactics. It's okay to desire money. But when you get to a place where you love it more than anything else, more than almost life itself, you become dangerous because you'll do anything to get it. And you'll do even more to keep it. Use your head. Remember our parents used to tell us that? Or maybe the problem is that our parents now are so busy reaping the benefits that they too aren't thinking about the consequences. I expect better from you. So I would hope you would expect better from yourselves. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Dismissed. <laughs>